Good morning everybody. Have a nice morning today. Have a very nice time with my English class at the beginning of the day. Welcome. You are most welcome to my digital classroom, your spoken English class. Spend just two or three minutes a day here in my class and be a fluent English speaker very shortly. Today I will read two beautiful stories with two beautiful lessons for all of us. Try to follow me. Yes, with all your attention. Now the stories. But you have to wait a bit till the end to know the names and the morals. Let's start. The first story. There was once a very active kid who would leave the other goats in the farmyard below and climb onto the steep roof of the farmhouse. Look at me, mother, he would call down. You are afraid to come off here where I am. The other goats paid very little attention to the boasting kid. But one day, a wolf passed by the farmhouse. He gave one look at the kid on the rooftop and would have passed by since it was easy to see that here was one dinner that was safe out of his reach. But the kid jeered and bleated, Why don't you try to come up and catch me, coward? The wolf stopped, looked up again and called back, It is not you who call me coward but the place on which you are standing. The name of the study, the kid and the wolf. The moral, if you revile your neighbor, make certain first that he cannot reach you. The second study, a falcon had discovered that he had captured a patrice in his net. The bird cried out piteously when he approached. Please, Master Falconer, let me go. If you set me free, I promise you that I will decoy other partridges into your net. No, replied the falconer. I might have set you free, but one who is ready to betray his innocent friends to save his own miserable life deserves, if possible, worse than death. The name of the story, the falconer and the partridges. The moral, Treachery is the basest crime of all.